So this is a tour of our workout room. Um, it's a totally do-it-yourself kind of hybrid with a lot of climbing stuff, um, but also a little bit of CrossFit stuff. We got tired of going to the gym. That wasn't really paying the gym memberships that we didn't like so much, but just that whole idea of like needing to go somewhere to exercise. So one of the first things I built was this simple uh, set of climbing rocks. Um, it functions sort of like a hangboard, uh, but with multiple holds. And these are just uh, rocks that I actually bought on eBay. Um, I, I got a box of these and um, I've set them up here. And as you can see, this is just a piece of plywood and then there's a little bit of space back behind here. So you can actually uh, get to the little bracket that these bolts need to screw into. And then after building the rock uh, hangboard, uh, I went ahead and uh, built this big old pegboard. I built this guy with a single sheet of plywood, uh, uh, ripped the long way and then uh, uh, doubled over on itself so it's it's double thickness plywood and then there's a backer piece of really thin plywood on the back and I just drilled those holes out by hand and uh, made these um, pegs with an oak dowel rod and then just kind of sanded them down on the ends to make them fit in the holes Woo! on the uh, pegboard it made sense to actually hang a uh, Hangboard, and I picked this up on Amazon. Um, you know, there are a bunch of different hangboards, and basically, what it is is just a climbing tool. And uh, you know, there are big grips up here, and then smaller finger grips here, and you can actually hang via uh, friction from the top. And then this is the climbing wall. You can see that it's a little bit narrow. Uh, I just had to sort of figure out a way to fit this in the room. And I had this uh, little beam up here, so I went with the slope of that beam. And these are more of those holes that I showed you on the rock wall, kind of big old holes. And then I have some little holes that I bought, uh, also on eBay. And these guys will really test you, just very, very small holds. And then uh, up at the top of the climbing wall, after a year or two, I actually added a bar um, this is just a safety like shower bar. It actually does two things. Uh, one is that you can kind of reach it, get up here to the top and do a few pull-ups off the top, or you can top rope off it. And then uh, over here, we've got a, a punching bag. And on the other side, we've got the rope ladder. It's really nothing more than uh, some rope with knots in it and then a bunch of dowel rods that have a, a hole drilled on either end. And what it allows you to do is uh, more sort of dynamic um, upper body work. So, you know, as you're moving up it, uh, the rope ladder is moving and swinging and, you know, never kind of fixed like a fixed bar. And I love that. Uh, you can also take off a lot of weight with your feet. So you can uh, get your feet on there and take off some weight to climb it. And the rope ladder, as you can see, kind of goes up into the loft and then anchors up on the ceiling. So you end up pretty high. All right, so then I saw um, online a bunch of people um, with what are called atomic holds. And so I made a couple of these guys. Um, these are just baseballs, as you can see, with an eye bolt that goes through them. Drill a hole in the baseball, put the eye bolt through it, and connect it to some kind of webbing. And uh, we have this beam here in the middle of the loft. And um, I've got a set of these that are baseball size and a set that are softball size. They sort of require you when you're doing your pull-ups, instead of holding like this, to actually reach over the top. So they do some good forearm stuff. All right, now, uh, currently hanging here right in, right in the middle of the room, is this uh, do-it-yourself dream machine. And this is kind of cool. Normally I just have a regular set of gymnastics rings hanging right here, but this dream machine, uh, what you do is you harness yourself in and uh, the ropes actually go up to a couple of pulleys and it allows you to sort of uh, go through the motions of some muscle ups and other gymnastic work like the iron cross and the one-armed iron cross. Uh, the dream machine is cool. It's right here in the middle. Um, I'll probably end up putting back my regular gymnastics rings just because they're great and I love them. And then similar to the rope ladder, this dream machine just uh, hangs all the way up there um, from the top beams. You know, I resisted the idea of buying special hooks or bolts or anything like that. So those are just a couple of pieces of wood. That's actually an old um, shovel handle. A couple uh, pieces of a shovel handle screwed into those 2x4s up top and that's the connection. Uh, for the dream machine and the gymnastic uh, rings that hang right down here. And then right next to those gymnastics rings you can see I've got a, a rope hanging and once again I didn't go to any big expense to hang it. I just got a piece of pipe and bolted it to the ceiling with some big old deck screws. Uh, the climbing rope has just been awesome. In addition to climbing it there's just so much other work you can do so I'm not the only one who sometimes does like partial hangs switching from hand to hand and things like that. And it should go without saying that the climbing rope is really fun to swing on. Woo!
So it was actually the first thing I ever put in this loft was a chin-up bar. And then uh, I sort of didn't like the width of it, so I replaced it with this one. And this is just black pipe that I bought at a Home Depot. And you can see I just got a couple elbows and uh, bolted it again with big old deck screws into the wall here. I put a, a piece of plywood down first so that I wasn't gonna wreck the drywall too badly. I'm sure the drywall is a little messed up. We do have a traditional chin-up bar here in the doorway. Not only can you just do straight up chin-ups on it, but since the wall is over there, you can actually go up and put your feet on that wall and um, do upright rows. We also have a little collection of weights and some do-it-yourself weights. Uh, these are both basketballs filled with sand. We just cut a hole in those, filled them with sand and duct taped them up. And those are awesome for uh, throwing up against the pegboard. There's an ab roller there that somebody sent me that I do tend to use and it's pretty awesome and a few kettlebells. So the room was really coming together and I still didn't have a way to do dips. I was doing them on two chairs and I just didn't like that. So I put together this setup that I'll show you um, kind of hidden back in this bookcase. I got a couple pieces of pipe, again at Home Depot. Uh, this is fence post pipe and it was cheap. One big old piece of it didn't cost me too much. Um, cut these off and I just put a few brackets uh, back inside my shelf here. And this, this ended up being one of the best things in the whole workout room. Uh, it not only works as a dip setup, um, but you can also do some of your ab work. And my wife likes to just use a single bar and she'll do some rolling on this and come down and I just take them out and I'm not using them so that nobody runs into them. And then a couple other things we've got that are more climbing related. Uh, this is a big old uh, crash pad that I tend to put underneath the climbing wall, especially if uh, one of the kids is up there climbing on that guy. I just don't want them to hurt themselves. And then uh, I usually keep a pair of climbing shoes at the handy. Uh, I always climb the rope with these guys and obviously the climbing wall when I'm using my feet. And um, I've got a bunch of uh, grip strength tools here. Um, I did not buy these. People send me these to review. So I'm not some kind of grip strength hoarder. So that is the full tour of the workout room. Um, whatever space you have, you gotta do your own thing. You know, we obviously just did everything here to make it fit with this space and the high ceiling and all the stuff that we have and the kind of exercise we wanna do. So, you know, a lot of people, they're building big squat racks and powerlifting racks, so, like do it up. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up down there, subscribe to the channel, and obviously make comments down below in the comment section and I will respond to them right away. Thanks for watching.